What substances in the environment are known to cause or are likely to cause cancer in humans, and where are they found? Alcoholic drinks. Heavy drinkers, more than two drinks a day, have an increased risk of cancer, particularly among those who also smoke. Cancers associated with heavy drinking include cancers of the mouth, throat, voice box, liver, and esophagus. There is also some evidence linking alcohol and cancer of the breast. Ultraviolet radiation. Ultraviolet, or UV radiation from the sun, sun lamps or tanning beds causes premature aging of the skin and DNA damage that can lead to melanoma and other forms of skin cancer. The incidence of skin cancers is rapidly increasing. Pesticides Of the nearly 900 active ingredients in registered pesticides in the United States, not all have been tested, and so far 20 have been found to be carcinogenic. In the United States and some other countries, a number of pesticides have been banned or their use has been restricted. These include ethylene oxide, some herbicides, DDT, and lead acetate, among others. Studies of people with high exposures to pesticides, such as farmers, pesticide applicators, crop duster pilots, and manufacturers and employees, have found high rates of blood and lymphatic system cancers, cancers of the lip, stomach, lung, brain, and prostate, as well as melanoma and other skin cancers. Solvents Several solvents used in paint thinners, paint and grease removers, and in the dry cleaning industry are known or suspected of being cancer-causing. These include benzene, carbon tetrachloride, chloroform, dichloromethane or methylene chloride, tetrachloroethylene, and trichloroethylene. Benzene is known to cause leukemia in humans. It has widespread use as a solvent in the chemical and drug industries and as a gasoline component. After 1997, its use as an ingredient in pesticides was banned. Workers employed in the petrochemical industry, pharmaceutical industry, leather industry, rubber industry, gas stations, and in the transportation industry are regularly exposed to benzene. Inhaling contaminated air is the primary method of exposure. Because benzene is present in gasoline, air contamination occurs around gas stations and in congested areas with automobile exhaust. It is also present in cigarette smoke. It is estimated that half of the exposure to benzene in the United States is from cigarette smoking. About half of the U.S. population is exposed to benzene from industrial sources and virtually everyone in the country is exposed to benzene in gasoline. <music>